In today's video, fellow YouTuber CS and I raided every single op skin in CS2. We're planning on doing one of these for every weapon in the game, so leave a comment letting us know which weapon you'd like to see us do next. By the way, I'm giving away this Huntsman Knife lore when we hit 20,000 subscribers, so if you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also, make sure to stick around and watch the whole video to find out what this week's giveaway is and the instructions to enter. Let's get into the tier list. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the skins tier list series we're doing the op today i'm back again with claude do you want to introduce yourself what's up guys for those who don't know me i have a youtube channel as well me and Witterly have made a couple videos together in the past and we've done some giveaways and we got more to come yes sir yes sir if you haven't seen the other tier lists we've done definitely go check those out and make sure to check out claude's channel but you want to just get straight into this bro yeah let's do it word all right first up we have the acheron i think that's how you pronounce it um yeah Decent skin, in my opinion, to be honest, especially since it's budget. I I know some people don't really like it, but I kind of like the color combo going on, like the blue, red, white with the skulls, and it's pattern based. I think it's pretty decent skin. Yeah, I think it's a pretty decent skin as well. It's definitely not the worst one out of the AWPs here. Um, I personally probably wouldn't rank it too high. I'd probably start it off maybe just C tier to start off this video, get a little base point here. And see where we go from there yeah i like that i was gonna say potentially low b but i like top to c for sure but before we finish the tier list here's a quick word from today's sponsor today's video is sponsored by skins monkey skins monkey is an automated trading bot site that allows you to quickly and easily exchange your skins at a fair price simply log in through steam add your trade url and you're good to go and if you use my code you'll actually get two bonuses on the site you'll get up to five dollars completely for free on your first trade and you'll also have a permanent 35 percent deposit a bonus anytime you add balance on the site. Best of all, under the freebies tab, Skins Monkey is always running daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. So even if you don't have any skins, Skins Monkey is the website for you. So if you'd like to check them out, the link is in the description below. Wow. Next up, we're following it with an absolute classic. Um, this is yep. like the skin other than the dragon lord that i think of when i think of an op like this is just a very og skin i think it looks great i'm personally a huge fan of the color orange i think it looks clean i would put it pretty high what do you think yeah i think it's pretty og of a skin bunch of clips back in you know the professional days of people hitting some crazy clips with this skin um definitely an og and i'd rank this probably a tier yes yeah, same i wouldn't give it an s like it's not quite an s but it's definitely a yeah, like that. And you also got the black scope one that a lot of people love. True, so the black one as well. Yeah, super nice. Yeah. Next up, we have the Atheris or Atheris. I don't really know how to say it, but it's so clean, bro. I've always loved this. It's also super yep. budget. I'm pretty sure it's a purple skin. Um, yep, it is. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Medusa, but this actually has the image like showing all the time, whereas the Medusa yep. you can only see if you're inspecting it. So I don't know. I yeah. kind of like this more than the Medusa, but that's a hot take. We'll get to that later. I think a lot of people love this skin. I don't know how it's still at the price point it's at. Um, super cheap and budget friendly. Um, it's super clean. The colors pop. Um, I'd probably put this A tier as well. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking high B or low A, but yeah, let's go Yeah, a. I think low A, yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, next up, relatively new skin, the Black Nile. I like it, dude. I, it, it was obviously made for CS2. It has the ingredients engravings it looks a lot better in cs2 than it didn't go just because you can really see them it gets brown as it wears instead of getting dirty which i think is pretty cool i like that about yep. it um I, I mean i wouldn't put it too high but it's definitely pretty clean fits well in silver or black and white loadouts yeah i 100 agree i like how it changes color when it gets in that battle scarred condition not a lot of people know that i personally don't think it's one of the best ones in the game i'd probably still throw it around a b tier yeah i like before it. the ars I like B for it. I don't know though. Looking at the Atron, I feel like it might be below, but uh I don't know. What do you think? You think it's above? I, I personally would put it above just because I do like the skin. It does look super simple and clean and it's nice, you know, black and somewhat of a white glare sil silver if you look at it. Um mm -hmm. so I personally would put it B. All right, yeah, yeah, I like that. I like low B. All right. Next up is the Boom. This is a classic yep. as well. Super old skin. I do like this quite a lot, to be honest. Also, it has the cock pattern. Just an OG meme skin. Probably one of the first meme skins ever, actually. Pretty sick. What do you think? Yeah, I 
I I don't really love it. Um, I personally like the Asimov or the Desert Hydra more for like an orange AWP here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's definitely not one of my favorite ones. Um, personally on the list, I'd probably throw it high B. I don't even think it would make A list on mine. Yeah, no, I like that. I like that. I like high B. Also, before I forget to mention, uh, the same as the last two videos, we each have one veto. So we can move any skin anywhere, for those of you that don't know, at any point in time. Uh, next up is the capillary. This is a blue skin. I, I think it's good for a blue skin, but it's not that great. Yeah, I 100% agree. I think it's one of my least favorite skins in the game out of the ops yeah. um i personally don't think it's that attractive not a lot of people want to pick this one up if we're throwing some down in the d area this would be one of them yeah uh yeah i think just because we probably need some d's we're gonna have to throw this down there but for the record i don't think it's like a D out of all skins, but in terms of ops, definitely probably going to have to be a D. Yep. All right, next up, Chromatic Aberration. I'm a big fan of pink and purple, but I don't know why. I just never liked this skin. It just seems like they didn't do enough. Yeah, I 100% agree on it. It gives me like a neon type vibe to it. Um, doesn't really stand out a whole lot compared to all the other ones on this list. Once again, not one of my favorite ones. I'd probably throw this C tier under the one we already have. Totally. Yeah, I like that. I like that for sure. Next up, Containment Breach. Dude, this one's a banger in my opinion. I, I don't really see it much in game. I don't see that many people with it, but when I do, I'm automatically picking it up, keeping it over any gun. It's so nice. I really do like it. I think if this was a collection skin, it would be worth so much money, like probably more than the Gugnir. I don't know. That might be a hot take, but it's so nice in my opinion. I'd probably throw it S. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Probably S tier. This gun slept on. The green really pops and you can make some great combos with this now with the new CS sticker update. Yeah, dude. And also the artwork is just super nice on it. Yeah, super clean. First S, let's go. Next up, another classic skin, the Cordacera. I don't know why. I've just never been a huge fan of this. Uh, there's also, I forget what pistol it is, but there's also a pistol in the game of it, right? P2000 maybe? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I just never really liked it. It seems like there's really not enough going on. There's just like a little plant on it. I don't know. It's just not that good in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know how this is a classified skin. I definitely don't think it deserves that. Um, obviously, it's an OG skin, so that's probably why it's there. But on this list, I'd probably throw it C tier. Yeah, I'm thinking potentially bottom of C right now. Honestly, yeah, dude, I, I, I might even throw this D. I'm not going to lie. Like, I really don't like it, but we'll keep it in yeah. C. Yeah, yeah. Um, and throw a D. All right, all right, word. Throw a D. Why not? We need some Ds. Pause. All right, boys. This week I'm giving away a Stat Track Factory new Glock 18 Vogue. To enter, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite op skin in the game is. Mine is most certainly the Oni Taiji. It's so beautiful. Also, just make sure to have your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. But make sure you don't skip a step or else you won't be entered. All right, let's finish off this tier list. Um, all right. Uh, Desert Hydra is one of the best ops in the game. Um, it's so yeah. clean in Factory New, and I honestly like the Battle Scarred one more. The scope gets super dark, and it's just so nice. Yep, I 100% agree. This is my favorite one in the game by yeah. far Same this is here. s tier yeah i agree top of s yep 100 sure. next up the most classic skin in counter-strike by far if you've ever played cs you know what a dragon lore is it's so nice it was way ahead of its time dude there was no skins like this with this type of artwork it, it's it's just great 100 percent. i think it's a great skin i personally don't think it's the best skin in the game anymore uh, i know either. it still has a super high price tag on it i personally might get some hate for it i don't even think i'd put it in s anymore really really i do I think, think i'd put it, I'd top put it of in me. s but i think i would put it bottom of s i think yeah i think it's, it's top disrespectful of to not put it in s you know what i mean yeah i agree with that but i don't know i think there's some better ones in the game these days um we can throw up bottom ass if you want i'd probably put it top of a so we're not far off all right yeah well let's just put it bottom of s 
for the sake of it. Duality, next up. Dude, this is also another one that I have a crazy take on. I know it's like an objectively good looking skin, but the fact that they replaced this for the doodle lore is just blasphemous. Like the doodle lore is probably my favorite skin of all time. And they took it out and put this in it because of the copyright and artwork. Like just yeah. because of that, I don't like it that much. Like it's not bad, but I'd probably put it like B or something. Yeah, I personally don't like it. I'd probably, I'd, I'd probably even throw it in C tier. All right, I'm down. I, I don't like the skin either. Top of C, you think? Yeah, probably top of C. Okay. All right, cool. Um, this one's pretty sick in my opinion. The Electric Hive. This is also very OG and it's super pattern based. So you can get all orange ones, all purple ones. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. The colors are nice. I mean, obviously there's not too, too much going on, but it is an older skin. So yeah, I think I agree with that. Like for a 2013 skin, it was once again ahead of its time. It looked pretty good back in the day. And I still think it looks pretty good um, with the colors in CS2. Totally. I'd probably throw it be probably above that Black Nile for now. Yeah, no, that's the perfect spot for it. I totally agree. All right, this is another one that I have a kind of weird opinion on, the Elite build. I think the Elite build in low float factory new with no scuffs on the op looks so good. And I'm not even that big of a fan of the AK. I honestly don't like the AK that much, but I think this in factory new condition looks really good and is super underrated. The orange pops on the black and I think it's pretty clean. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't throw it like somewhere crazy like A or S, but I think, I think it deserves to be in B. Yeah, I think I have a different take on this one i, I, I don't like it not yeah, a huge fair. fan of it super bland and simple for me um i don't even think it would hit b tier for me um i'd probably throw it middle of c based on what we have there right now oh yeah that's fair that's fair um let's split the difference maybe top of c all right all right next up exoskeleton yeah this is an interesting one i i know a lot of people like it for a budget op but i've personally yep. never been a big fan i don't know what they were trying to do with that skull there but it looks really weird and has these weird ears on it uh, i've never been a yeah. huge fan i do like the fact that it gets more purple as it wears yep. uh, but yep. that's the only bright side about it for me yeah the first time i saw it i kind of liked it but the more i see it i personally i'm starting to dislike it more that animal looking creature in the middle definitely doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me and the only cool thing about it is getting more purple as it gets battle scarred i personally would probably put this d tier yeah i also do recall seeing a video of the chinese version of this since they're not allowed to have skulls on weapons or on anything and i thought that one looked better it was actually pretty funny so you said somewhere in b uh no d oh d yeah okay i agree um i think maybe middle d yeah i think middle of d works cool all right the fade's an interesting one uh when they first released this i was very shocked and confused i feel like the fade didn't need to be put on another skin and it definitely didn't need to be put on the op but it has grown on me a bit i think the pattern is very very necessary like you need a good pattern for it to be anywhere near good like a good 100%. fade percentage i mean yeah i don't know what do you think i personally actually like it on the op uh i think there's a lot of surface area for it to show its true colors um so i personally I think it looks really nice on the op and it's probably one of the better looking ops in my opinion i'd probably throw it high a to be honest okay that's interesting i i agree with you totally that it, it does have that extra surface area that lets the fade show entirely but that also makes it like worse if it's a worse fade percentage um than it that would look true, on yeah. other skins so i don't know I, I don't think it deserves a in my book but i would probably put it somewhere in b so we're not we're not too far off maybe maybe we do top of b or low a so you'd pick up the ethereus instead of this one uh well, just because I rarely see the fade, I'd probably pick up the fade. But if I had seen them equally as often, I would probably pick up the Atheris. I don't know. I, I'm settling on A, but we can split the difference on what you think and go from there. All right, let's just go bottom A. I think that's fair. All right. All right, Fever Dream. This is a skin that I personally feel like wasn't pulled off that amazing. I don't love it on the Scout or this, but I, I don't hate it either. I, I just think it's pretty mid. I, I hate it. I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it on any of the skins that it's on. It looks super basic to me. It doesn't look like the gun's finished. I know that's probably what they're going for, um, right. like a graffiti style, but not something I'd personally be using. I'd probably throw a bottom of C on my list. All right. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Bottom of C is good. Okay, now we have the graphite. This is one that I used to think was super clean and go, but in two, they absolutely ruined it, in my opinion. I think it looks way worse. It looks a lot more bland and there's less 
I know it's weird to say, but there's sort of less shine, and the lighting just looks off, in my opinion. I think they might always, or might eventually update it um, to make it look a bit better, but at the moment, I definitely don't think it has its full potential. Um, I'd probably, looking at this list, I'd probably throw it bottom of B. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Or, uh, I don't know. I like the Elite build more, know. but I know you're not a huge Elite build fan. I'll, I'll throw a bottom B. That's fair. Yeah. Another huge one here, the Gugnir. Um, yep. This one's like, dude, I think this might be the most overhyped skin in the entire game. I, I, don't get me wrong, I do like it. Like, it is a good skin, but just because so many people love it so much, it's just kind of annoying to me. Like, I think it looks better than the Dragon Lore. I know it deserves S. It's just like, I don't know, it kind of annoys me. <laughs> I, I personally am the opposite. I think it looks great. I know a lot of people love it, but I, I still stick by that. And I, I think it's a great looking skin. I think this is the most expensive op in the game now, right? Yeah, yeah, no, it is 100%. Yeah, so I personally would put it above the Dragon Lore. I'd rather pick it up instead of the Dragon Lore, and I think it looks better. Yeah, uh, I... I... I agree. It's just weird for me. I agree that, like, objectively, it looks better than the Dragon Lore, but I would still pick up the Dragon Lore every day of the week. Like, if I had the bread, I would buy a Dragon Lore over the Gungnir. But that being said, just I do because think of the it's history. A of. Well, no, not even just because of the history. I don't know. I like the orange and yellow more than the blue, but I like what's going on, like, engraving and pearlescence wise on uh, the Gungnir. So I don't know. Right. It's hard for me, but I agree it goes above. I don't know though. I do think containment breach and desert hydra are better. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, hyper beast. This was another one I was surprised about when they put it on the op. They love to put great skins on different weapons. Uh, after yep. it goes well on one, I think it is meant to be on an a1s though personally i mean it's not bad it's just not great in my opinion yeah back when i was playing this game in like 2015 2016 time i think this was probably one of the skins i used the most this uh, and on the m4 a1s i personally think it looks good compared to the skins now uh i don't think it ranks to the top so i'd probably still keep it around the b tier probably middle of b okay yeah i like that i like middle of b i think right below the boom maybe yeah i think that works for me okay cool all right this is another one i have a hot take on i think this is a terrible um resolution picture of lightning on this gun i know a lot of people love this skin and it's super og but i don't think oh. it deserves to be as liked as it is yeah i think the colors do stand out um i don't think it's the greatest image on the actual weapon i think they could have made it a bit better but i also don't think it's like a low tier or middle tier i still think it's a pretty high tier op here mm -hmm. um, i'd probably throw it top of b i like top of b i like top of b i'll totally agree with that all right man of war um i don't use this often but this is one i think is underrated i like the gold accents on the blue obviously there's not too much going on but i do think it's underrated personally that being said i wouldn't go crazy with it and throw it in a or anything but i think it deserves to be pretty high in b for myself yeah, i personally would think it's around b tier as well i don't think i'd throw it high b's i'd probably put it at the bottom i don't see it above any of these other ones in b tier in my opinion okay well, maybe we just go right in the middle then. Next up, Medusa. I love this skin when you're inspecting it, but the sad reality is you rarely get to inspect stuff in game. If you're actually playing functionality wise and you're trying to get kills, you're not just running around inspecting an op all game. So you don't really yep. get to enjoy it as much as you should. I yep. mean, the blue looks nice and I think it's cool because it does have that green witch pattern and higher wares, I mean, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's like an S tier op. Yeah, I don't think it's an S tier either. Either. definitely is a great skin still the colors do stand out and yeah when you do get it in the higher float it does turn more green which does look kind of cool um just to have a feature like that if you're picking something up in battle scarred and it doesn't look terrible um i personally would probably put it bottom of a yeah i like that i like bottom of a i do think the Atheris is better yeah i think i agree all right next up is the mortis uh i hope you feel the same way i don't like the skin at all <laughs> Really? I am the opposite. I like really? it. Really? Really? That's crazy. Yeah. When I came back to CS after not playing for a bit, this is the first skin I picked up for the op. Oh, wow. Okay. I think it looks really cool. I like the design on it and how it looks. Um, for me, this would probably be right under the Hyper Beast. Really? Okay, wow. Yep. I think I would personally throw this, like, right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't think I can get anywhere near that. No. That's it's fair. better than the man or sounds like a veto 100%. might be incoming <laughs> well we'll split the difference for now <laughs> yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll see what happens at totally. the end yeah 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 let's save the vetoes for sure all right neo noir is up next uh this is another one of those skins that i feel like they overuse um but i don't know right. why they overuse this one because i don't think it's that amazing like it is good it is nice there's whites and purples and pinks and it's a cool image i guess but it's not like yeah. amazing yeah, i think one of the reasons people like it is because of the white on it there's not a whole lot of white ops in the game there's only right. about three of them totally. um so i think that's why a lot of people go towards it i personally don't think it's the best looking i think an all white op would look pretty sick um for sure so this one i'd probably put this like somewhere in b tier yeah. probably once again under the hyper beast all right yeah i like that i like that spot dude now you have me thinking about a white out op that'd be crazy yeah that'd be sick that would be so sick the sticker combos on that would be insane next up if you've been a long time viewer of this channel you know this is my favorite skin in the entire game i am personally yep. putting this at the absolute top of s i know it might be a hot take i know the desert hydra is amazing too i love the desert hydra but this oni taiji is just so clean like it's a perfect image the name is perfect it means demon slayer and the guy's literally slaying a demon on the op the scope looks sick the colors are perfect i, I just love everything about this op yeah i know this is one of your favorite ones uh I personally don't think it's one of my favorites. favorites. <gasps> yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Um, you know, I know a lot of people do like it. It does have a lot of purple, which is nice. There's not a whole ton of purple skins in the game. It does have a super expensive price tag on this skin, though. Yeah. And I personally, if I'm throwing it in S, it's bottom of S for me. Yeah. All right. What, but you do think it is an S or no? Yeah, I think it's high A, bottom, bottom S, somewhere around there. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to use my veto on, but we'll yeah, save it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Oh, wait. We should split the difference, though, for now, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cool. Op Paw, next up. We got 420 Paw. It's a, it's a cool skin. It's all right. I mean, it's nice for a budget op, but I don't think it deserves A. I think it might be somewhere in the middle of B for me. Yeah, and this is a pattern based one as well, right? Yes. I think it looks pretty good it's not the worst op in the game um i definitely don't think it's one of the best though so i'd probably throw it yeah middle of b somewhere in the b tier yeah i do like the fact that it's pattern based i think the one with the golden cat right in the middle rather than the 420 is probably my favorite yeah i think that that's probably my favorite as well you, so you like this spot or yeah i think that's a good spot for it yeah all right phobos might be the only one that i throw in f i don't like it yeah, I, I don't like this one either i don't think it hit f for me but i don't think it's very good it's probably one of the worst ones in the game yeah i mean out of all I skins in the I, game i don't think it deserves f but comparatively to these ops that are on this list i think it might be an f in my book i think it's above the capillary or whatever yeah. that one is down there uh, yeah okay yeah, well, I'll, I'll take that for sure. Wait, uh, actually, I would definitely pick up the capillary over this, but it's fine. We'll take that. Okay, Pink DD Pat. Dude, I don't know if you saw when CS2 first dropped, like, the glitches with some of the snipers, but the scope on this was pink for, like, two weeks, and it was so sick. It made this gun way better, in my opinion. That being said, I don't think it's bad now. I just think it was way cooler at the start of CS2. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of any of like the DD Pat style weapons. Yeah. Um, I personally wouldn't pick this one up. I think it's still a decent looking skin. It has some color to it. So I'd probably throw it bottom of C with those other pink ops. Really? I think I would put this like above the paw. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we just split difference then? Sure. Cool. All right, this one is the Pit Viper. Also a relatively decent budget op skin. I, I wouldn't personally pick it up myself. It is it is okay. What do you think? Yeah, it's another one of my least favorite ones in the game. I'd okay. probably throw this in D tier right away. I don't think it has a whole lot going on with it. Um, it's super cheap, which is good for people that have a lower budget to start off and want some you know, color on their skin or put it in a green themed inventory. Um, but I personally don't think I'd pick it up. Yeah. Looking through these now, I do think it's probably D, but it's just funny because like 
overall, I don't think it's a terrible skin. It just shows you how good these op skins really are. Um, I think it's probably... I personally would put it probably top of D. Top of D, above Cordacera and Exoskeleton. Probably. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, here... This is the pop-op, right? This one's actually pretty cool, in my opinion. This is another pattern-based one. You can get some pretty sick patterns going on it. I really like the ones that are, like, maximum black pattern, because it's, like rare that you see an all black skin but yeah i mean it's not it's not amazing i just don't think it's bad yeah i think it's like you said not an amazing skin it's not terrible um i'd probably throw it middle of the pack maybe even in c tier i don't even think it ranks with the b ones that we have on our list interesting i think i would put it above black nile and graphite really yeah but we can just split it again actually I'd pick it up over the pink DD pad so we can throw it one above that. Okay, sounds good to me. Next up, this is another absolute classic, the red line. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of a red line AK purist. I think it should maybe stay on the AK, but that being said, it's obviously going to look clean on any gun you put it on. It's just carbon fiber with red streaks through it. It's hard to make that look bad. Um, yep. I don't know. I'd probably just throw it somewhere in B. Yeah, I think I agree. Super clean skin. If you throw some of those battle scarred stickers on it as well, oh, that yeah. is red. Looks super fire. And especially with the new positioning and being able to move stickers, I think a five sticker combo on this would look great. Totally. So agree I'd probably with that. throw it B tier. All right. I like that. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I think I'd pick this up over the paw personally. Yeah. I think that. It's probably the same spot I'd put it. Next up, we have Safari Mesh. Um, I mean, there's not really much to say about it. F. Yeah. I... F. <laughs> F. <laughs> All right. I'll agree. Simply simply F. Yeah. We have to just put something down there, and yeah. that's, that's definitely one of them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. Next up is Silk Tiger, dude. I think this one's pretty underrated. It's an OG skin, and it's very pattern-based. You can get some crazy cool patterns with a bunch of tigers on it. I really rarely 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 see it in game i don't think i've ever seen this yeah i i almost picked one up just like to have honestly a while ago but i didn't pull the trigger kind of wish i did now that we're looking at it again but i don't know i think i think it deserves probably b yeah i think it's a pretty decent looking skin honestly i've never seen it before we started this video um really i searched it up yeah i searched up the op list before we did this video just to refresh my mind on some of these and i've actually never seen this one in game and yeah. i never knew this one existed it has a super high price tag though yeah yeah for compared sure to some of the other ops um, but yeah, looking at it now, I'd probably throw a B tier. Do you remember what collection it's in? I forget. Uh, Havoc collection. Oh, okay, okay. Honestly, an underrated collection too. There's some pretty cool skins in that. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'd probably throw it probably above the Manowar, to be honest. Actually, probably above, probably under the red line, yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's probably the spot I'd put it as well. I don't know. I think I do like it more than Neo Noir, but it's all right. We'll leave it there. Um, next up, Snake Camo. I mean, it's pretty much just a glorified Safari mesh. <laughs> I mean, there's just some brown lines on it, sort of in like a scale-like pattern. Um, I think I, I'd probably throw it low D. I was gonna say F tier as well. This not much going on with it. Yeah, we'll throw it in F. Two Fs. Boo. Boo. Yep. All right, Sun and Leo. This is one that sort of got a buff in CS2. I like it a lot now. Pattern based as well. You can get some pretty cool patterns going on it. I love the color. Um, this is another one like the pink DD pat that had the scope glitched for a bit for a couple weeks and it looked so good. I don't know why they didn't just keep those like that. Um, but yeah, I'd probably throw it somewhere and be maybe around this range. Yeah, I think I'd throw it B as well. Probably a couple above where you have it right now, but okay. somewhere in that area. All right, maybe here. Yeah, probably, probably there. Yeah. Sweet, I like that. All right, this is probably the last big hitter of the video. We have the Prince, another sick skin in my opinion. Uh, I personally do think it deserves S, and this is another one where, as it wears, it gets darker. And I love the battle scarred ones. The dark prints look so good. Yeah, I'm the opposite. I don't like this skin. Really? Not not a fan of it at all. I don't even think it deserves S. Personally, wow. I don't think it deserves A. Well, for the longest time, I had a battle in my head about whether this or the Gungnir was better. And I think I decided that the prince was better. Oh, this is not even an A, a tier skin for me. Wow, this goes B for you. Yeah, I'd rather pick up the lightning even in B. Wow, that's crazy. So how far down would you put it? I'd probably put it one under the lightning strike. Okay. 
Uh, so if I'm putting it here, what is that? One, two, three, maybe we go here? I can't even put put it up there. No, I'm using a veto and putting that in B. Oh, wow. Okay. You feel that strongly about it? Yeah, All I don't right. like it. So right here? Yep. Okay. I might have to reverse take. that veto, bro. No, I'm kidding. Hot take. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. We're all entitled to our opinions. That's cool. Next up, wildfire. Bro, this one's pretty clean. I mean, I don't love like the little fire dragon here, but I do think the idea was pretty sick. Um, wait. Now yep. that I'm talking about it, is it a fe is it supposed to be a phoenix? Oh uh, yeah, I think it is a phoenix. Okay, I never even picked that up before. But when I said fire dragon, I was like, okay, there's no fire dragon. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that's a phoenix. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty nice. I think it probably goes above. Oh, dude, I don't know. I think it might go here for me. Yeah, we're we're off on this one again. This is an A tier skin in my opinion. This oh, you is like probably. It that much. Okay. I think it's under the Asimov for me. I love this skin. Okay. It's fire. No, I do like it as well. I do like it as well. I mean, yeah, honestly, I probably would pick this up over an Atheris. Yeah, I like that. I like that positioning. Do I even have to say much about this one? Uh, it's OG. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's about all it has going for it. It's budget. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we got. <laughs> Maybe top of that. Maybe. That, yeah, not even, bro. Safari Mesh is clean, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think it's F tier. <laughs> that's so funny. I know Oni Pixel hates this skin so much least favorite skin in the game for him this looks like you didn't flush the toilet and then it turns into this like turd monster bro it's just so disgusting i hate it so much bro i swear to god <laughs> it is so disgusting it's hilarious yeah. when you think of like a budget op back in the day though that's that's a skin that oh comes yeah to mind. dude i used to run the worm god all the time stat track back new because it was still cheap oh yeah um, it kind of made you feel like you had a budget dragon lore because it had the little stuff coming out. Like you said, I guess there is one thing to say about it. Like you said before, there's not that many white skins, so people might pick up this since it's a nice, or since it's a white op skin, but I don't think it's nice. Yeah, I agree. Last up, newest op in the game, the Chrome Cannon. Personally, I don't think it looks that good, but I do like it solely because it shows us the possibilities of skins now in CS2. Yeah, I agree. When it first came out and I looked at the new case and I saw this in there as a red skin, I personally didn't like it, but yeah. I think it's grown on me a bit. Still not one of the top ones in the game, but yeah, what the future holds with skins that do kind of look like that, I definitely think there's a ton of possibility for some really nice skins. Yeah, for sure. Also, it's very easy for people to have a bad opinion about things that are new. So this could totally grow on the two of us. We haven't had much time with it. But yeah, as of right yeah. now, I don't think it deserves to be that high. Yeah, I personally would yeah, throw it somewhere in B tier. Probably one under the red line. Okay, I, I'm definitely taking the Silk Tiger over it. That's fine. We can put it there. Okay, I guess the last thing to do is use my veto. <laughs> Yeah, um, there's a few things I'd probably move around, but I got no vetoes, so. What, what, well, I want to hear it. What are what would you move around if you could? I'd probably take the Mortis out of C, put it at once, still above the Mana War. I don't think the Mana War even deserves where it's at right now. Looking at this list. Okay. Yeah. So that's I'd cool. probably shuffle a few things around, but let's see what your veto is. My veto is Worm God to S. No, I'm kidding. That is disgusting. Let's I'm go. Just, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to do this for the sake of the channel. Oni ties you to number one, man. I just love the skin so much. I know it might not deserve Even to be the prince up there. And B? Yeah, we'll keep the prince in B. Why not? I'll let you rock All with right. that just because I love the Oni ties you so much. I just got to put it up here. Let them know in the comments that that is not the best skin. <laughs> let them know prince doesn't deserve B. <laughs> All we'll right. see. Thank you guys for watching. Cool, Peace bro. out, guys. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh, yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.